During normal operations of power transformers equipped with a conservator, air breathed by the conservator goes through the silica salt in the breather, and any moisture from external environment is absorbed. When air breathed by the conservator goes through the silica salt in tank A, any moisture is absorbed by a special silica salt. The moisture in the outer air increases the weight of the salt. When the variation of weight exceeds the set threshold value, a solenoid valve blocks the passage of air through the saturated salt tank A and deviates the air flow through plenum chamber B. Simultaneously, a heating system inside tank A is activated for regeneration of silica gel salts. The generated water vapor leaves the silica gel helped by forced ventilation, which also dissipates the heat. The same unique double tank operating principle is applicable to our SDB-15 with its innovative coaxial tank. This working principle is utilized in the entire product family, SDB-10, SDB-15, and SDB-30. When the weight increases in the SDB-10 and exceeds the preset value, a solenoid valve blocks the passage of air through the SDB-10 and deviates through the SDB-15 or SDB-30. This setup allows operations with both breathers having a common standby canister. Continuous monitoring of the silica gel weight and complete self-salt regeneration. Overall reduction of the environmental impact with respect to conventional air breathers as salt is regenerative and replacement eliminated by use of non-colored salts with extended life. Overall reduction of maintenance costs for the transformer as salt life cycle interventions for salt replacement are eliminated. Reduction of the number of inspections because checks on the SDB breather can be carried out during normal maintenance scheduled for the transformer. Thanks to its unique monitoring solution, which activates a backup salt tank, the SDB drastically reduces the risk of the transformer to breathe humidity, as may occur with exhausted conventional breathers or with other double tank breathers during the regeneration process.